What is going on guys? Just thought I'd bring you another dose of batshit crazy feminist nonsense. So let's get right into it. Swedish minister says, reducing car numbers is a gender equality issue as they are driven mostly by men. Oh boy. Sweden's environment minister has said reducing car numbers is a feminist issue as well as a matter of meeting carbon emission targets, saying male drivers occupy space in, space in Swedish cities at women's expense. Lamenting that urban planning committees have put the car on a pedestal in the last 50 years, Caroline Skog insisted it's vital that cities find ways to reduce the number of cars on the road. The car is a flexible mode of transport, and people find it nice to travel around in their own bubble, the minister said. But the main drawbacks is that they're ineffective. A normal car in Sweden stands still for 97% of its lifetime, and for every car, there are eight parking spaces and many miles of road. You can't call that effective. Ms. Skog said that reducing the number of cars on the road is a gender issue because their prevalence in Swedish cities results in men taking space away from women. She says, Cars are driven largely by men, so by giving a lot of space to cars, we're giving a lot of space to men, at the expense of women, she explained. Under the city's current transport strategy, Gothenburg aims to cut the number of cars on the road by 25% by 2035. The minister praised the target but said it's difficult to judge whether it will be sufficient in the long term. But we have to reduce car trips if we were to meet the emissions targets, and it's in cities that the possibility to do this exists. Feminism in the field of transport policy isn't new in Sweden, which prides itself on having the world's first feminist government. Its website explaining, This means that gender equality is central to the government's priorities in decision making and resource allocation. In November, however, Stockholm's, Stockholm's policy of gender-neutral snow plowing was called into question after the city was plunged into chaos with hospitals reporting a fourfold increase in broken bones. Under the previous system, fresh snowfalls were first cleared from main roads and by areas like construction sites before being removed from pavements. Because men are more likely to drive and women more likely to travel on foot, more women slipped on the ice, which led to complaints that the system was sexist. Police branded the results of the feminist policy deplorable and said that with ambulances unable to make their way along Stockholm's roads, it posed a danger to society. Concluding, Introducing a feminist system of snow clearance was high on the agenda when Stockholm's red-green coalition was elected to City Hall in 2014, but even the green vice mayor admitted equality snow removal had failed the city and apologized to residents who'd been injured amidst the chaos it caused in November. So there you go, guys. This is another example of this nonsensical feminism, which seems like it's never-ending, right? Like last week, it was these uh, sexist street uh crosswalks because it had a guy symbol instead of a girl that's sexist now cars are sexist because too many men drive them you know where are they gonna stop with this anyways let me know what you guys think about this one i'll see you in the next video if they smoke i'm turned off if they drink i'm out of there uh if they're stupid i'm bored if they're mean i'm bored if they're trying to use me i'm out of there so i guess i'm very picky if they don't work out i'm not interested the mind is lazy and the body's lazy, who cares?